Okay, Hi. I've watched you mm. over the years, LA girl. I loved your Super Bowl last year, representing Thank you. West Coast rap. It's what I grew up on. I grew up near that neighborhood. It's like my favorite music in the world. I feel like I've known you, admired you, listened to you, danced to you, partied to you. You know, for the better part of my beautiful life, much more beautiful because of you. Aww. Thank but you. I see you in different modes at different times in your life. What is going on right now and why are you so damn sexy? <laughs> I mean, because I, I want to be, you know, I, I, I'm enjoying my life. I'm for once in my life enjoying my life, enjoying Mary and, 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 and just embracing everything about me, you know, accepting the good, the bad, the ugly, the things I can change, the things I can't change. It's just all me, and I'm not gonna get another me, so I'm just embracing it, you know, and it's a process every day, you know, saying wonderful things about myself to myself, even things I don't believe, as long as it's wonderful, you know what I mean? Were you? <laughs> <laughs> this is such a rich subject for me right now because I'm, I, I am trying to make a turning point. I'm at a tipping point, I believe, in my life. Is that something that you have to work on, and since when? I developed this uh, when I got a divorce. Um, while I was in the marriage, and for years I'd been just insecure, didn't like my, the sound of my voice, didn't like what I looked like, didn't like anything about myself. And then when I got married, the person just really watered that seed of, of my own self-doubt and my own insecurity and, and made it worse. Yes. And um, I heard um, TDJ say, he said, um, what you say about yourself and how you think about yourself is way, way more important and effective than what anybody else can say or think about you. So if you, yes, if you speak positivity over yourself, and that's what I started doing. So my first, my, my first big confession was an album I put out called Good Morning Gorgeous. I didn't believe I was gorgeous ever, but I had to say something I didn't believe, you know, that was bigger than me. And then it began to manifest in my heart. My heart is gorgeous. My, my, my mind is gorgeous. I'm a beautiful person, you know, um, so I have to, so you have to believe that about yourself. This means so much to me too because I saw all this stuff, you know, when I was a kid and sort of, you know, raised myself for better or worse, crashed and burned, like lost my job, got institutionalized, like had to emancipate myself when I was 14. And by the time you're, you know, and you're like 14, midlife crisis, I guess that's, the, you know, where we're at yeah. numerically off, but this is where I'm at in my life. And I, I had fooled myself into thinking that the hardest times I'd ever go through on my journey in this life were then. Mm -hmm. It had nothing on divorce. Mm. It had nothing. Tell, tell me about it, yeah. I, I, I just, I, you know, you see those strong, amazing people mm -hmm. and you were like, how did they get so broken? Yeah. I, I, that was me. Yeah. And I had to put yeah. myself t back together piece by piece by piece. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, I'm in my mid forties. Now I'm 48 and I am uh, tired of this inner voice that is so toxic. Well, let me just share this with you. It's not gonna happen overnight. I'm still, it's a process. I have to say it every day. I have to, I love you, Mary. I have to say it every morning. I'm a, you're a masterpiece. You have to find it for yourself. And, and that's it, you gotta find it for yourself. I found it for myself, and that's, this is what I believe. It's not for, I'm not saying this because I want the whole world to believe what I believe. This is what was, has me looking sexy, like you said. The masterpiece is what's With, inside. Within. It's, 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 it's your heart and believing that you have goodness in you. And, and okay, you mess up, you, got, you have bad things, you, have, you even doubt yourself, but it, early I said accept all of you. When yes. you can accept all of you, then nobody can mess with you because you know you're this and you know you're not that. You know, you, 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 you guys following what I'm saying? I do, and yeah. I know I'm the happiest I've ever been in my whole life. Mm -hmm. I know it. Mm -hmm. This birthday, 48, I had the best birthday I've ever had in my whole life. I felt wow. whole. Yeah. It's, it's the first feeling of wholeness I've ever had in my life, you know? And it's been building. Mm -hmm. It's been scaffolding up there for years and years and years. Exactly. Yeah. And you're still here, so keep building. I'm going to <laughs> keep still here. building. And you, yeah. It's all the more relatable, though, when you see an icon such as yourself that says, yeah, I struggle. You're like, oh, God, you do too? Okay. Because 
You're Mary J. Blige. I mean, you're incredible. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, well, let's not, let's not shortchange you. You're Drew. You are one of the biggest TV film stars since you were a, a child. You've always had something bigger than a lot of people. You know, you know what I'm saying? And you're huge. You're Drew Barrymore. Look, I, I love you in E.T. You were so cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> I've loved you since you, like, came out as such a strong woman, and it speaks to your children's book that I Thank love you. so much, and we're going to do our next segment about that. So I don't want to overspeak about it, but one beautiful concept in it is the strength to believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. And I wonder, you know, through through everything that you've seen and done, what or who do you think was one of your big inspirations to believing that you could do all these things? So many people, um, well, I have to say, my mother was definitely one of, one of those people. And she's in the book, she's like- single parent yep. mother, uh, raised us in the projects. It was hell, but she did it, and, and we, don't, we don't know how, but she did it. Um, my grandmother, and then um, Puffy, because he was a huge inspiration. When I came in the game, he, I didn't like myself. I didn't want success. I was afraid of it. But watching him, he wanted it so bad, and he was it. It was just like, okay, I'm going to learn this. Him, Jay-Z, um, 50 Cent, um, Oprah Winfrey, Michelle Obama, President Obama. It was just so many people to say, you know what? I can do it, too. You know, and they, they've, they, they've inspired me. I mean, that's an amazing list of people. It yeah. is so true. I love, I love Curtis. Yes. I love Curtis so much. He yeah. comes and plays on this show all the time. He's been very, very kind to me since I started this show. And you're in mm -hmm. power. Yeah, he's been kind two. to me too. <laughs> What is something that comes to your mind about like acting versus singing? What things do they satisfy you? What things do they scare you with? What, what gives you confidence? And what are the differences between the two for you? Well, acting is a challenge because it's new and it's hard. It's really, really hard. So the, the difference between acting and singing is singing is not hard. It's, it's it like I'm, 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 I'm with Mary J. Blige, I'm Jordan with that. I, you know, that's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Your children's book has such a specific point of view, and I'm telling you, you will get this message and get this story, but it is, um, it is called Mary Can. Um, but I want to bring out two uh, favorite friends of ours um, to do a book review on it.